Hi everybody. We are here with my eldest Gosling, who is two months old, roughly. Give or take a week or two. Um, wait. She's not happy right now. She's soaked. We pulled her out of the pool. What? What? You're fine, baby girl. So, there's been a lot of questions about wings and twisted wing tip, angel wing, etc. like that. I'm going to do my best to explain it per what my knowledge and what I've been taught is all about. Um, so, I've got a friend that's helping me record this. And I'm going to ask her to kind of do some stepping in and stuff like that so you'll have some movement. What baby girl? So, um, Kate, if you want to step in here, yeah, we're going to focus on the wing a little bit, okay? So you got several parts of the wing, and I've, on my computer I actually have like the skeletal system of the wing of a goose that I'm going to be posting later. But you got the, I know, I know, you got the whole entire wing. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, you're fine. You got the whole wing here, okay? And when you're looking at the difference between like angel wing and twisted tips, and this is a big debate, and everybody has their own opinions about it. From my understanding, angel wing, what, I know, will start, hey, hey. Angel wing will start up in here, or here, that was warm. And then, with twisted tips, it is there is a joint down here, right here where those blood feathers come out, and that's where you get your really long feathering, that's on the side of the wings. There, right about here, there's a little joint. And if you're going to have twisted tips, hey, hey, settle. I know that's not natural. She's telling me that that's not natural for her, so it hurts. So right in here is what you're going to be feeling. You're going to want to feel all the way down. And if that joint is coming out like this, and you're able to see, if you want to come to this side and like get an angle from this angle, if you're able to see the bottom here, and you feel where it's actually flipping out, that's when you're gonna wanna intervene. Okay, go ahead and step back a little bit. So, what I tend to do, ow, that was warm, I know. Hold on, just a few more minutes, okay? So what I do is if I have a gosling that's twisting out, is right here, I will take a little bit of, I, I will take and use, uh, paper medical tape now I'll kind of wrap it around to support this joint like a brace then what I will do is I will tuck it into position up underneath the bird where it's supposed to be I'll put a couple of layers here and then I'll put another couple of layers wrapping it here so that the whole wing is in place where it should be Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Now, it is a big debate as to whether or not it's protein levels or whether it is um, genetics on these guys. My thought process is that it is both. They're genetically prone to it and the higher protein levels make it where they grow faster and those feathers get really, really, really super long. Those feathers are not light. They're very heavy. So you're going to see... Hey. You're going to see your gosling walking around, practicing weightlifting, going up and down, up and down, up and down like that. As long as they're able to tuck them back up in place like she is, then they should be okay. Not to say that as they age and molt they can't twist out either. I've got a couple of my older birds that over the winter they decided to twist out. Um, probably because they didn't get as much grass and they were more on feed. So that's kind of my interpretation, my thoughts. 
um, and what you know just like I said what you want to do when you're feeling is you're just gonna want to feel if they feel nice and straight then you're usually good um, as I said in a comment to a post um, sometimes these baby feathers can do really goofy things such as like a uh, best example I got is somebody with a bad perm aka myself and high humidity and it just goes boom so the best thing to do instead of you know just guessing is to grab your bird and feel it and see what you feel because you'll actually be able to feel that and I certainly hope that helps everybody um, as always if you got any questions comments concerns please reach out to me you guys have a good day thank you cool girl